Level 31, commonly known as the roller rink, is a sprawling labyrinth of connected roller skating chambers styled like an endless 1990s roller rink. Wanderers who find themselves here describe it as vast, possibly infinite, although it's hard to measure due to the looping, maze-like quality of the space. The level is filled with non-Euclidean geometry, meaning paths may unexpectedly loop back on themselves or lead to completely new, unfamiliar areas without any logical transition. Every area has its unique twist on a roller rink, from wide-open, neon-lit skating halls to cramped, reflective corridors. The ground in this level is typically smooth concrete or polymer-like flooring, giving it a clean, slick surface ideal for skating but also slippery if one isn't careful. These surfaces reflect the ceiling's neon lights, creating a retro glow that permeates the level and adds to its eerie, nostalgic atmosphere. The architecture itself seems intentionally set to evoke a blend of retro roller rink vibes with a disorienting, dreamlike twist. Walls, floors, and ceilings are all polished to a shine and reflect the colors of neon and fluorescent lights, which change color from room to room, casting a surreal and hypnotic glow. Light and Sound in Level 31 The primary light sources in this level are rows of fluorescent bulbs that line the ceilings, illuminating each room with a range of color tones, warm and cold, that shift slightly depending on the area. Despite the abundance of lights, the bulbs are unusually quiet, lacking the typical hum or flicker. However, wanderers may hear a faint buzzing, believed to be caused by the electrical ballasts regulating the current to the lights. Music fills the air across the level, mainly nostalgic radio pop songs from the late 90s to early 2000s, playing at a low volume from ceiling speakers. Interestingly, some sections may have conflicting music, as if different DJ stations are active throughout the level. Although these DJ stations can be found, they seem to play automatically and cannot be controlled. In certain areas, visitors also report hearing sounds that do not seem to have a source, like the distant chatter of people, laughter, and the clatter of roller skates on the floor. These sounds add to the sense of an ever-present but unseen crowd. Hallways and Architecture Hallways in Level 31 are key connectors between the roller rink rooms, but they don't always follow logical spatial rules. They may vary drastically in length, and some seem to go on forever. It's also common for wanderers to find themselves back in the same place after traveling through a hallway or to discover entirely new areas without explanation. Some corridors even appear to intersect impossibly, crossing over each other without connection, giving them an unstable, shifting quality. Reflective surfaces and neon lights continue in these hallways, creating the illusion of endless, winding pathways. Additionally, ambient sounds may increase or change as wanderers travel, sometimes overlapping with music from nearby rooms. The hallways also contribute to the level's disorienting nature, occasionally transporting wanderers to other parts of the level with no clear pattern. This unstable design can make navigation difficult, especially since maps are essentially useless here. Notable Areas Food Court, a small, safe space within level 31, the food court offers a reprieve for wanderers. Resembling a 90s-style roller rink snack bar, it has a dining area with tables, benches, and a soda fountain that dispenses almond water, a safe liquid in the back rooms. Classic roller rink snacks like pizza are available here and are confirmed safe to eat. Some wanderers choose to temporarily reside in the food court as it's one of the least hostile areas. Arcade, near the roller rink areas, a section of the level opens into an arcade room filled with 90s and early 2000s style game cabinets. However, most arcade machines are broken, with exposed wiring and paper out of order signs taped on them. Reports suggest that these machines occasionally function or flash as though turning on but are ultimately defunct. This area is one of the most reliable exits to level 25, so wanderers often look here if they wish to leave level 31. Storage and Skate Rental Room Hidden behind doors in the rink, this storage room contains shelves lined with roller skates, though they aren't ordinary skates. Level 31 skates seem to have unusual properties, such as a better grip that prevents falls and an intuitive ease that even beginners can quickly adapt to. 
The skate's wheels seem crafted from a mysterious material that reacts to the smooth floors, making it safer to move around despite the rink's slippery surfaces. Employee lounge and surveillance room. Behind the food court, this lounge area feels like an abandoned break room with gray carpeting, exposed brick, and storage closets filled with cleaning supplies. Surveillance rooms with CCTV screens monitor much of the level, but the cameras frequently malfunction and even explode without warning. Unlike other areas, this space is notably silent and lacks the constant music, lending it an unnerving quietness. Entities and Anomalies The level is mostly devoid of life, though two kinds of entities are known to appear. Facelings, these humanoid figures without faces often linger near the DJ booths or food court. They're generally docile and will disappear from view if observed for too long, possibly due to the level's shifting layout. Shadowy figures, wanderers sometimes report seeing dark, human-like silhouettes in dimly lit areas. These figures can be unsettling, often holding weapons, and may induce a feeling of being watched. However, they don't usually interact directly, leading many to suspect their hallucinations or paranoia-inducing phenomena, though their vividness leaves some travelers uncertain. Hazards and Environment The level's cold temperature, around 8 degrees Celsius 46 degrees Fahrenheit, is due to faulty ventilation systems, and certain areas may have puddles from leaking pipes. Some sections are flooded, but the water doesn't seem to spread to other rooms, likely due to the level's anomalous layout. A noticeable hazard is the malfunctioning CCTV cameras in the employee lounge, which may explode, causing fire alarms to go off unexpectedly. Wanderers are advised to avoid the cameras and stay cautious of cold spots or leaking water to prevent hypothermia. Entrances and Exits Entrances to enter level 31, wanderers need to find a wooden door in levels 3, 6, 26, 27, or 28, typically emitting faint bubblegum pop music from the 2000s. Exits. Several exits allow travelers to leave level 31. Arcade exit. Heading through the arcade room will eventually transition into level 25. Revolving door. This exit may lead to levels 9, 10, or 11, though it can be unpredictable. Not clipping on skates. Attempting to steal a pair of roller skates will result in an immediate knocklip to level zero without the skates, though taking food or other items seems safe. Survival tips. Stick close to the food court or employee lounge for temporary safety. Avoid wandering alone, as the level's unstable layout makes group travel unreliable. Approach dark or dimly lit areas cautiously to avoid encounters with shadow figures. Refrain from tampering with arcade machines or surveillance equipment to minimize unexpected hazards. Level 31 is both nostalgic and eerie, with an inviting yet ghostly roller rink ambience and an environment that makes escaping challenging. 